This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Sun power. This is the 6 p.m. Barbados Today update for Thursday, March the 20th, 2014. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Disappointing. That's how political scientist Peter Wickham sums up this year's estimates. He tells the Barbados Today the overall package is not a seismic shift in the government's economic plan and Barbadians will be let down since there are implications they will have to brace for additional revenue measures. Wickham adds there's nothing in the estimates to suggest that the Front of Stewart administration will take on board the proposals tabled in David Eswick's alternative plan. The central component of Eswick's plan, as I see it, is uh, an appreciation that our basic problem is that we have too much debt. Ironically, it's not very different to the, the, the central plan of Owen Arthur's 12-point plan that he presented and was rejected um, in, the, in the last election, which is you tackle the debt and then hopefully all other matters will, will fall into lane. Um, I don't really get that sense in terms of, of the, the, the Sinclair approach, which essentially says that we have a deficit that we have to deal with, we will tax people or raise revenue to be able to get our way out of it. Wickham believes all eyes will be on Eswick as the estimates debate continues in the House of Assembly. He says there are several options facing the Agriculture Minister. My assumption is that Eswick's unwillingness to speak is a reflection of the fact that he's not displeased. Um, I don't see him taking a position as adversarial against his government on the floor of the House. But he has available to him an option, which is a path of lesser resistance um, that has a similar impact, which is to say nothing. Uh, and either uh, by way of a vote, he can either abstain or, or alternatively not be present. And in news from the estimates debate itself, the school meals program could be in for some change. Health Minister John Boyce says he wants the major players to sit down and talk about the program. That has been criticised for the quality of food given to the island's children. You can read more reports from the estimates in this evening's e-paper. And the man police believe is responsible for Josiah Claremont's death was remanded to prison when he made his first court appearance this morning. Richard Shamario Worrell of Durriston Road, Grisettes, St. Michael, is charged with killing 22-year-old Claremont on February the 15th. Worrell was shot in the abdomen when he was in Fairfield, Black Rock. Small businesses in Barbados want a portion of government work set aside for them. Addressing a workshop on accessing finance at the Grand Salle of the Central Bank, President of the Small Business Association, Dalton Medford, said it doesn't make sense for government to give those enterprises assistance and not give them work. My belief that small businesses in Barbados should be granted some percentage, I don't want to state a percentage, but some percentage of government contracts should be set aside for small businesses so that they can be sustainable. There's regional and international news after this short break. Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Sun power. In regional news now, Jamaica's Education Ministry is to carry out an investigation into claims that the textbook being used in schools contains racist comments. The book, Creative English for a Caribbean Primary Schools Level 2, has been approved for use in primary schools. But Education Minister Ronald Twaits announced the probe would be conducted after a senior lecturer in cultural studies at the University of the West Indies raised alarm about the text which associates beauty with European features. Internationally now, a Mumbai court today convicted four men 
over the gang rape of a 22-year-old photographer on assignment in the Indian city last year. They are expected to be sentenced to life in prison tomorrow. The four who were aged 18 to 27 at the time of the arrest were also found guilty of other offenses, including having unnatural sex, showing pornography to the woman, and forcing her to perform similar acts, stripping her and destroying evidence. The case had reignited nationwide anger over women's safety. That's been the 6 p.m. update. Join us again at 7 tomorrow morning. Until then, log on to www.barbadostoday.bb. Subscribe to our e-paper and like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Stay tuned. The Business Minute is up next. The Business Minute is brought to you by Signia Financial Group. To my people out there working hard to expand your horizons, chasing a flawless dream. Keep your eyes on the prize and we don't look back. It's forward thinking on to the new stuff. It's time to lay bricks on the foundation of your future. Get set for Signia to be sure. Signia, quality solutions for your financial needs. This is the Barbados Today Business Minute for Thursday, March 20th, 2014. I'm Don Paris. No price increases are on the cards for the mobile barbecue restaurant, The Smoke Pit. The owner, Paul Norville, says despite the rising cost of inputs, he's keeping his customers in mind. He tells the Business Minute there's a thin line between profit and loss, but he's focused on keeping his expenses to a minimum to avert price hikes. Recession or not, I always say the two things people must do in life, eat and die. And Belgians love their food. And we find tourists love food as well. So in a recession, yes, food will continue to sell, but people are going to be more price, obviously, conscious. Easy Pave, a hardware and maintenance company, says it will not be laying off staff despite the harsh business environment. Managing Director Errol Lynch says the company has managed to maintain its staff complement for the last decade since it started with the right number of workers. Easy Pave currently employs eight people in its hardware and maintenance section. Eleven others work in the parent company, Asphalt Processing Inc. Women continue to outstrip men seeking opportunities from the Barbados Youth Business Trust. According to BYBT General Manager Cardell Ferguson, the trust provided support to some 99 women last year in several areas including finance, mentorship and training. She says for the year so far, the organization has assisted 23 females. Speaking at a recent BYBT function to celebrate Barbadian women in business, Ferguson told the Business Minute, women have a critical role to play in the country's economic development. What we've realized too is that as females, we don't see our contributions as being worthwhile. So it's, it's a way to motivate our females to do better and to become more sustainable and to become more uh, viable contributors to the economy. And now for today's financial tip. When you're going shopping, try hard not to travel with more cash than you really need. If not, you may find yourself spending way more than you budgeted for. That's been the Barbados Today Business Minute. Join us again on Tuesday next week. Until then, log on to www.barbadostoday.pb. Subscribe to our e-paper and like us on Facebook to get more business and news. I'm Don Parrott. To my people out there working hard to expand your horizons, chasing a flawless dream. Keep your eyes on the prize and we don't look back. It's forward thinking on to the new stuff. It's time to lay bricks on the foundation of your future. Get set for Signia to be sure. Signia, quality solutions for your financial needs.